We eat dumplings and then we uh, gave greetings to the elders yeah. and we received the red envelope, which is the money. It is <laughs> That's the best of time. Envelope. The key thing for this part, maybe Jenny, how many yeah. dumplings you can make from the dough in your hand? Depends how big the dumplings are. You're smart, <laughs> yes. Everybody and welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. It's Jenny here and I'm joined by my beautiful friend once again, Sophia. Thank you. Yeah. You. Yeah. And we're back here at the Hutong for Chinese Yay! Yay! So, so excited because I'm back here and this time we're about to do some cooking. Yes. Yes. Mm. And for a very, very special occasion. And it's Chinese New Year here in Beijing. Yeah. So yeah. what are we cooking today? Today we can cook the best food ever that usually we have once a year. That's the dumpling, Chinese dumpling, jiaozi. And what's in the Chinese dumplings that we're going to cook today? Wow, that's a really good question. That's a really good question. Actually, in China, if you have a millions of families, maybe you have a million type of fillings. We don't have like the, like you have to do this to do this combination. Usually uh, people have their own, like their, their fillings. Their own version of yeah, dumplings. Yeah, but we do have a classical ones. Okay. Yeah, sometimes we do pork, we do lamb and beef, and the vegetables normally will be like garlic chives and cabbage, celery, yeah, many things or deal as uh, those yeah. common vegetables, the things like easy to get in this season. So where do we start? So dumpling actually is a, um, a Chinese um, jiaozi and it usually have two parts and it has a flour which is going to make the dough and the filling. So we're going to put them together to make a, a semi-circled shape of the food. Yeah. So what are we going to do first? We're going to make the dough and okay. then we're going to make the filling. So dough part, this bit challenging time, Jenny, I don't know. <gasps> have you done this before? No, I've not. Because <laughs> in China, most of the time cooking, we don't have a, a accurate measurement. So we go with roughly the texture. So the flour, we're using all purpose flour. Normally it could be a medium gluten. Water we put in little by little the time you don't know. Generally speaking, the dough will be like a, a play dough. So today we're using about half cup, which is about 80 gram. Basically room temperature water. One, two, three. I'll do three first and see how much we need. Okay. And when you make it, it's pretty simple. You just want to make mix them. Like a mix of water and flour direct one direction. Uh, you mix it until the time there's no more water for you mix in, then you stop. If you see like this. A little bit lumps here, still dry flour. Uh, we need to have a bit more, half in case. Yeah. Usually we're making dumpling from scratch like these days during the weekend or holidays. Uh, Normally people will- Family activity. Yes, yeah. it's family activity. Cause there's lots of, it's not difficult, but just a lot of work. Yeah. But it's also a good time people to sit together, to spend time together, you know, making something. Yeah, and you can chit chat at the same yeah. time. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. So generally speaking, we'll see the dough like this. No more water for you to mix it, you need to add a bit need more. more. Yeah. Otherwise, you probably keep adding more water because we're dehydrating a lot. Key thing is, Jenny gonna challenge you. Also challenge myself. We need to clean up everything. Hands clean, dough clean, continue clean. This is gonna be the the first thing the mother-in-law will check for the daughter-in-law. No way. Yes, what? it is. The, the there will be a good housewife. Everything clean. Oh. Yeah. Wait, so the mother-in-law usually teaches as well and the daughter. Sure. No, normally it's the mom or the grandma mom, okay. teach teach the daughters. The daughter. Yeah, okay. daughters. Yes. And to the clean. mother-in-law checks. Checks, yeah. But you know what if you're you are Troy, <laughs> yes. Uh, literally, girls are mostly in charge in the domestic, like housework stuff. Because okay. usually, food is not that abundant in the past. So, you need to have a lot of like uh, skills. Like, literally, like uh, how wise you are, like how skillful. It's a mother in law's requirement. <laughs> <laughs> no, so actually, if your husband gonna wash your, wash your dishes, it's much easier for him to yeah. wash. Yours is better than mine. No way. I must make too hard. Wait, we need this, this on camera. What did you say, Sylvia? <laughs> Jenny's dough is better than mine, but my bowl is cleaner than hers. Yeah. Well, if you make your dough slightly harder, what you can do is just to let it rest longer. If you like Jenny's looks like uh, a bit, it's good. It's a slightly softer, uh, which you can let the rest for a shorter time. Yeah. And you can clean up in the meantime, because when you clean up, it's much easier. Is this clean enough? 
I think so for the first time for you. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> first time. <laughs> yeah, so, well, still wow. have some. No, I still have I some. I hope that your mother-in-law might uh, be proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> so here the dough ready, but the dough uh, just formed. We need to give a quick knead. So when we're kneading the dough, imagine dumpling actually represent uh, wealth and health. So I'll explain to you later on. So just imagine every good thing come to you. Okay. So today everything is from outside towards you. So from the top of the dough, Top of the dough, the side away from your foot to the center, and then your palm on it. Palm. Um, press down, moving forward. Mm, Paste and then rotate. And then rotate. Yeah. So just imagine all the good things come to you with the flow. Oh, so cool. And all year round. All year round. Yes. Oh, that's what it means. No, I just made it up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the significance of Chinese New Year um, for Chinese families? I think Chinese New Year for Chinese people mainly is like uh, is the year end and it's a good time to celebrate together with the family, stay together yeah. and uh, to visit family as well. It's almost like our version of Christmas. Yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. So usually our Chinese New Year will be last for five days the mainly, the first day of January, lunar calendar, yeah. and to the January the 5th. Yeah. But the celebrations like Christmas Eve, like the Chinese New Year Eve, yeah. is usually people getting together to prepare. And normally for us, my home, I, when I was younger, we used to visit my grandparents' house. So okay. we visit my grandparents' house, usually put the, the red cabinets on the door, and then we do a fireworks before we leave. You have a Dishes, normally no odd numbers, maybe 10 dishes, 12 dishes, or 14 dishes. No odd numbers? No odd okay. numbers. What, what does the odd numbers mean? You don't want anybody left out. So everything will be like even. And at midnight, usually will be let out by daddies and cokes yeah. um, for the let the fireworks. Yeah. After the fireworks done, normally it's New Year Eve, 12, 12 a.m. Yeah. So that's probably the only time the, the kids are allowed to stay that late. Stay up that late. <laughs> yeah. We eat dumplings and then we uh, gave greetings to the elders. Yeah. And we received the red envelope, which is the money. <laughs> that's the best of time. Hong bao. So t tell us a little bit about mm. that tradition. Uh, Hong bao is literally, we, in Chinese, we say yeah. Ya Sui Qian. It's like the blessings that from the elders financially passing to you, like abundance. Ah, okay. So they give you Ya Sui Qian, all the good meanings, yeah. and you never get poor, something yes, like this. Yeah. So any whole, amount, right? It's not like any amount, time. yes, any amount. Hard. Sometimes they do 500. Yeah. Sometimes they do 600, 68. Wait, dollars or quai or. <laughs> dollars would be best. Oh uh, no, it's RMB. RMB, RMB. Yeah, Okay, so we've got the dough. I think it's pretty much ready. Yes, it is ready. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna make a little bun here, and we can we have the uh, two wet cheesecloths uh, ready. So we're gonna cover it to keep the moisture. Cover it. Cover it. Here we go. And now we're gonna make the filling. The filling is uh, pretty flexible, but no matter what you put in, the key thing is everything you put in should be room temperature. Second, everything should be dry enough, not soggy, not watery. So today, what do we have here is uh, pork which is a very common meat here in popular meat, I would say. People like to choose. You can do beef, yeah. you can do lamb. Uh, for northern people, when we'll do this, we don't do a lot of chicken. And chicken pork. doesn't have that much fat. And usually for dumpling, it doesn't have much like the texture for the meat. What are we going to do is today we prepare the vegetable, which is a uh, celery. Okay. The celery, just the celery, we chop them small. Thanks, Jenny, for uh, chopping yeah. them small. Yes. <laughs> so vegetables are very common. Celery, cabbage, have we mentioned. Yeah. And usually they have a meaning behind it. Normal only before we add in the veggies, we're gonna get the meat texture ready. So we're gonna okay. have some water to make it more fluffy. So okay. traditionally, we do one part of meat, one part of water. Okay. But I think we don't have to, because in the past, they don't have a lot of meat. That's why people do it. Uh. So we can do probably half tablespoon water. So they would add water to make it more. Yeah. One thing I think is for making more portions. Second, the key thing is good, good texture. Yeah. And then we probably have another one. When you're adding water, you do little by little. Maybe another half tablespoon. So it makes it fluffy, did Yeah, you say? make it so fluffy. The thing is, maybe some people say, hey, you don't want water inside, right? But the pork has a lot of fat, which yeah. can lock a lot of water inside. So it's easy to have a meatball. When you yeah. have this water inside, or when you have a dumplings, you have some juice coming out as well. Oh, so it won't be lovely. too, yeah. uh, it won't be too dry. Too dry. Mm. And here what I have, here we have some Chinese cooking wine. I have two there. 
to balance out the gamey flavors, you can do a few drops because we have a small portion. Cooking. Yeah, we're gonna do Chinese soy sauce. We're gonna do a teaspoon of light. Maybe we can do one half. Yeah, here we go. And if you like a little bit color and a bit strong flavor, you can do dark soy sauce, but a very few drops because we have very little portion today. One or two drops, yeah. So this step, you can imagine you are marinating the meat. And do you do this the night before, like for Chinese? No, 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 no. Have to be fresh. Day. Have on the day. Yeah, the meat oh. you can prepare in advance. in advance. All everything you have to prepare fresh because you don't have too much liquid coming out. And then we do salt, maybe tip of spoonful of salt. Maybe less because celery itself has a salty flavor. Celery also has naturally water in it. Isn't yes, it? yes. So if you're using watery veggies, yeah. you need to cut, you put salt, you can get rid of juice. We did uh, in advance. So oh, we did, yes. yes yeah. Yeah. Quite common one. Pepper, Chinese people more like to use a wet pepper. So the pepper portion is a personal choice as well. So maybe just a small pinch. Yeah. No Sichuan peppercorn here. No. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you can do, but sometimes you see the celery has a strong flavor. You don't want to have too much like flavor to clash. Right. And then the magic sweetness, which basically sugar. So you add sugar. Yeah. It's a savory oh. dish, but sugar can combine the lift up the taste. So okay. just a small pinch, very little. What type of granulated sugar or? Yeah, just white sugar. Any sugar will work. Any sugar. The amount is important. Not much just a little bit we're gonna have this um, a bit of ginger a bit ginger all everything's minced i use a teaspoon roughly so this is yours yeah. also ginger is a personal choice too some people don't yeah. like ginger don't have to but the ginger is really nice to give a flavors and also it's helped to digest but you don't want it too much because it's overpowering the other taste okay spring onion we can do a little bit more because it's like more friendly than ginger yeah to me <laughs> like about a tablespoonful and then we're going to do some oil. We're using sesame oil. We can do about a teaspoon of sesame oil. Sesame oil. Just for more flavor, basically. Yeah. And how moisturizing as well. Okay. Yeah. This time we're going to have a celery. So we can do about maybe two tablespoons. So our filling's ready. I think our dough is good. So we're going to start making our dumplings. Okay, yeah. So we're going to be rolling. And get some dry flour, just a little bit at the corner here. Oh. So as I say sometimes in classes, I please let's dust some flour on the chopping board. Most of the Westerners will be like all over the board. <laughs> For Chinese, we do just a little bit because you don't use a whole bowl to make this smaller wraps. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's the basically the area you do. Okay. And then we take our dough out. So before we do the next step, if your dough is sticky because the, this yeah, one, get is. some dry flour dust on it. Yeah, I think our dough is good. Today we let the rest in enough time because of a smaller dough. Yeah. Yeah, so basically the good way you check it, you press it, it gives you a little bit bounce and it stays, that's good. So I think it's so. It's got a little bounce. It's good, it stays. Yeah. It stays. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So this is the perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Mm. If it's stretched back quickly and very elastic, you need to let the rest be longer time. Yeah. So here, what are we going to do? This yeah. is the, like this is the, like a shortcut. Yeah. Okay. So from this little dough, the middle, we make yeah. a donut. Just to quickly use your fingers to break a hole in the middle. Just break it. Break it. Okay. Yeah, break it. We make a round and circle. Like this? Mm. All, All your fingers, so you need to stretch it on your hand, so you can squeeze it like this, see, like a tube. Oh. And for this part, oh, every family has a different size of dumplings, so there is no standard. Yeah. So basically we can make about two centimeter thickness roll will be good. Okay. Yeah, the key thing for this part, maybe Jenny, how many yeah. dumplings you can make from the dough in your hand? Depends how big the dumplings are. <laughs> You're smart, yes. Yeah. Could be 10, could be 14, could be 12, really? could From be this? two. Yeah, oh, so okay. literally it's like uh, how big they are, but the key thing is you want to make them even. Okay. Yeah, because they can be cooked at the same time. Yeah, that's good. Mm. <gasps> yeah, it's like a, <laughs> it's like okay. a skinny donut. <laughs> <laughs> so once we have this, we're going to okay. use our cleaver, just to break it, just make it as a long sausage roll. And then we roll it to make them even in thickness again. Just one cut, yes. Mm. And next part, we're gonna start cutting. We do our best to make them similar size. Similar size. <laughs> okay. So about maybe two centimeters or so. We do this, so you cut it from, your hand need to be like this, huh? okay. the claw. After your first cut, you're gonna do the second one. Yeah. Roll up. Roll up. Yeah, this is easier for next step. Always cut different uh, side, yeah? Oh, yeah, I should cut them ten. that was fun. So all this together here, you put them here, yeah. and then dry flour dust on the top, and then you roll them up. It's like a ma like a Chinese mahjong. Oh, you roll them like you rotate the the card, and literally they look, they feel like a marshmallows. Yeah, 
And they look like them as well. Yeah, that's the reason when cutting angles, so you have the little like this little stew things. Ah, okay. So you don't have to roll it individually. Uh, that's extra work. It's extra. I'm excited to see what this is gonna look like. My marshmallows. <laughs> so next part is a very essential part, and it's the key okay. part because okay. making the dough is not really difficult, right? No. So water and flour. No. We're gonna make a little wrap and then form dumplings. So we have this dough. I will show you first. Yeah. So you have to make sure you have enough dry flour, but not all over. <laughs> yeah. So the chopping part standing, the other part facing up. You want to squash it from this way. Okay. So you squash it. Now we get the little cookie. And so from here, we're gonna use our rolling pan to start. The key thing to the rolling pan is your palm. Roll it. Remember how we need the dough? Yeah. Our hands going down, moving forward. Yeah. That's how it works too. Okay. Very gentle. Okay. So three steps will be like your, your rolling pan gonna roll one, roll in. Yeah. Two, you roll out. Uh, wow. So when you have it, <laughs> it's like a tortilla chips. Yeah. Doritos. Tortilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You oh, it's there. Yeah. It's there. Yeah. I see it. I see it. That's good. It's there. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> My little bubble is there. Yeah. You have to take care of it and it will take care of you back. Yay! Yeah. And you're putting your hand and I get a yeah. spoonful. Yeah. Make sure it's clean. And mm. This is semicircle. This is the front facing to us. Yeah. Remember, every good thing come to us. Us. Us <laughs> sealed. Yeah? yeah. From where? How do you do it? Put it up, yeah. up, up, up to us. To us. This the one. This the way I fold, uh, folding way I learned from my mom. Uh, three o'clock. Put it up, up towards us and pinch. pinch. Good luck time to us. Pinch, pinch, pinch. pinch. Well done! Yay! Yay! It is standing it's up. Standing up. And a no failing show. If we don't tell you what's inside, you will not tell. Oh, amazing! And that's my first one. Perfect! Woo! First dumpling! are finally finished and here is our final product uh, we need to try it before. yes yes yeah. it's always try the good ones like yeah. the fresh ones first yeah. so usually we serve the dumpling with is uh, soy sauce and vinegar in my hometown we do vinegar always uh, first and if you need more saltiness you do soy sauce at least in my family does that one okay. so vinegar help to digest but okay. if you want to taste the original flavor yeah for first one without them okay let's try yeah. it without them okay. Cheers. 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 Be careful, there may be some soup coming out because okay. with the water we put in. Mm, but the mm. dough is so soft. Mm, I have some soup coming out. Everything is soft. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Nothing is too mm. overpowering. Mm. The meat is great and I can taste the marination from earlier. You also will like them chili oil if you like to. With a tiny bit of soy sauce maybe. Mm. I think this is how I like mine. And try it again. Oh, this is so delicious. Mm. Mm. It tastes even better knowing that I made it. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, thank you so, so much. You're for welcome. Us. You made a good ones. Yeah. Well done. Oh, thank you well, for I making my, a... my, uh, my session very easy and simple. Thank yeah, you. Good I have students. an amazing teacher. So, Sophia, just to wrap it up, what is your favorite part of um, Chinese New Year and celebrating it? I like them all because I can be off. <laughs> yeah. And the best part is to get the hong bao. The Hong Baos, yeah, and here you can actually Hong Bao via WeChat. Yeah, well. you can do WeChat transfer, and sometimes grandparents probably gave you the red envelope, but the Hong Bao is the best. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Chinese New Year here is such an um, exciting time because people mm. get to go home, spend yeah. time with family and friends, mm. eat together, spend mm. time together, yes. and relax together. Really, yeah, right? and watch Rest the New Year Eve gala. That's yeah. important. These days, kind of becoming like the trendy yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the big things it. people look forward yeah. to, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So thank you so much for thank joining us. Thank you. And happy Chinese New Year to yeah. everybody. Yes. Go on, yeah. Hi, everyone. Go on, yeah. Hi. Hope you've enjoyed enjoy your dumplings. Yes. Enjoy. See ya. We're going to continue eating. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it. Goodbye. Yay.